Hi everyone, welcome back to Stuttering Tech. I'm the one and only Stuttering Drew. And today, I'm gonna to be unboxing and giving you guys my first impressions of the T-Mobile Rival 5G. But before I do so, please subscribe to the channel, give this video a thumbs up and hit that bell notification icon and leave your comments down below. Yes, people, so the price in this phone is 400 bucks, 399. I just go round it off $400, period. Now, with Metro by T-Mobile, you can pick this up for $200 right now. On, uh, on special, you get, you get $200 off if you're coming in as a new customer and, uh, and switching from a different company, you will get this for $200. And on the T-Mobile, you also get the same deal coming in as a new customer as well. Now, I know a lot of people don't like Metro, some people, I will just say, come out and say, some people still up to this day is referring to them as Metro piece of shit. And I, I understand why. And in my honest opinion, because I've actually called Metro and I've told this to them recently because I've tried to get this phone on at multiple different Metro PCS uh, uh, authorized dealers and they just hacked the price up. They're, it's It's so outrageous how... Th these um the these authorized de dealers are getting out of people are scamming people i suggest everyone deal with the corporate store search for the corporate store on the metro website and you will find the corporate store because the dealers are scammers in my opinion that's my opinion i went to a few of them i went to one right near where i live right here just three blocks away and I went into the store and I tried to get the phone and I, remind, I have the promotion on my phone on the Metro website. I'm looking. The guy get the phone. He said, you're going to go check the price. He opens the, the, the safe where, where, the, where, 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 where the phones are and he's there. I don't know what he's doing, but he's there. Then he came and he's like, because uh, um, I asked him how much would it cost with the phone and I'm switching my, you know, I'm switching over and all that stuff. So he checked it. Then he told me the price would be three hundred and eighty five dollars just give him three hundred and eighty five that will be tax and everything so i asked him how much is the phone he told me two hundred and thirty six dollars on special which on the website it says two hundred dollars okay he said that, then he said the plan is forty dollars because they had the special that it ended now already but they had a special last month where you can get uh, unlimited data, talk, text, and everything uh, with with five five G and everything for for forty dollars if you're coming in as a new customer. So you add that on, that comes up to in my math, you know, that comes up to uh, 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 two seven seventy six. Then he says, or uh, then they, then he tries to charge me uh, uh, thirty dollars for a SIM card that comes inside of the box. A SIM card that comes inside of the box. So now that's $306. So I don't, I don't understand that. Then he said $20 active, activation fee. So now that put me at $326. Bucks. Then he says with taxes and fees, it's $385. So you mean to tell me, you mean to tell me it's going to cost me an extra, yeah, and an and, and extra $59, basically, if you do the math, yeah. An extra 59 bucks in taxes and fees. Where in New, New, in New York is taxes and fees an extra, uh, 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 that amount? I thought I could have sworn the taxes and fees was eight. Taxes itself was 8.875%. 8 8 so I don't know where they get to. And this happened to me years ago where I went to a, a dealer and they charged me and I was charged 21% tax. So I had, to, I, had to, I, I had to let him know. And he said, you're sorry, it was a mistake, and put it down to the state tax. They, 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 they think that everybody's stupid, and people need to check and do the math. Because I even called Metro and asked them what it should be, and they told me exactly how much it should be. I, and that, that is what I used. Now, the phone was $200. Now in store, it's 200 and. It's two hundred and and ten. I don't think they updated it on the website as yet, 
but in the store is actually marked there with with, with the promotion. Uh, as of uh, today, October first, it is uh, two hundred and ten with the promotion. Now I've only got I've only had this phone for about two hours, and this is not a a a, a real unboxing to be per se because they 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 opened the the box and they. And they put the SIM card and, you know, they activated the phone and all that stuff. So it's already open. I just didn't take out the contents of it. So let me just run down the specs real quick. And we'll and then we'll go ahead and proceed to open and see what's inside. Now, when it comes to the display, it's a 6.53 inch LCD Full HD Plus. It has a PPI of 395. It has a Qualcomm Snapdragon 765 with the Adreno 620. It has six gigs of RAM, that is LDDR4. It has internal, it has a 128 gigs of internal storage, and that is expandable via the micro SD card slot of up to 256 gig. The battery capacity is 4,500 milliamps an hour, and your OS is Android 10. No Android 11 here. Uh, yet, I don't know if they will update it, let's see. This, uh, uh, it has a triple camera set, set up around back with the main camera being a 48 megapixel. The secondary, the second camera is an eight megapixel ultra wide. And the third camera is a five megapixel macro. And you also have a flash. On the front, you have a 16 megapixel and that is a punch hole camera. Bluetooth 5.0, NFC, and yes, this phone has a headphone jack. The body is a all plastic build, and it only comes in one color, Nebula Black, if I'm saying that right. But uh, no, let's go ahead and get this box open so you guys can see what, um, what's inside. Now let's take a, wrong, a look around the box real quick. Uh, so you have all my all the information here. You see the uh, the T-Mobile Revel 5G branding. It's nothing much. Nothing, you know you know, uh, uh, the, the, the Qualcomm 5G. And this is basically a mid-range phone. It, it is a mid-range phone. And to my knowledge, this is the cheapest 5G phone on the market right now. If it isn't, you guys let me know down in the, in the comments down below, but this is the, the most affordable 5G phone that you can pick up right now. Now I wanna mention this phone is made for T-Mobile by TCL. You know, the people that make the TVs and all that stuff. So this is what it's made by. So now we agree with the phone. As I said, it was open before. So the plastic is off. You might notice a little bit of a smudge and fingerprints there. Um, now let me get it out of the box. I'll put it to the side. And now let's remove this part here. I want you guys to see what's in the box. Okay, get that out. Of course, the same. And... Lives, uh, okay, now here in the box we have a starter guide and you have your sim ejection tool right here. Uh, put that to the side, don't need that sim card, everything is already inserted. Here we have a braided, a white braided, let me, let me get this off. Look at this, it's a white braided USB-C to USB-A cable, charging cable right here. Let's put this here. Now, I didn't see anything in the specs about how many amps this thing charge. Uh, it charges, I didn't see that at all. Uh, there's nothing else here. Okay, let's put the box to the side. Now, here's the charge, the charger. I'm trying to see where I will have to look that up to, 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 to tell you exactly because I don't see it branded here at all on the charger to let you know exactly how many milliamps an hour. I mean, how, how, what, what is the charger, the, the, the wattage from the charger? Uh, I will have to look that up to find out. Uh, let me go ahead quick and look that up just because I want to give you guys, like I said, I always say in this channel, the most Total review I can. Let me look that up real quick and I'll be right back. So yes, everyone, I couldn't really find the information. 
about the charger uh, it doesn't really say anything but when i put it into my other phones it does come up as a quick charger uh, as quick charging so maybe it's a quick charging maybe it's not i'm not really sure it doesn't really give that information neither on the t-mobile the metro by t-mobile uh, 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 G G GSM Arena, N nowhere I can find whether this is a quick charger or not, but on my other phones, it does come up as quick charging when I use that charger on, on, on my other phones. Now it's been a day and a half since I recorded that first part of the video. I had some corrupted data, so I am, I have to reshoot this part here, but yeah, now I'm just going to go right into it and we're going to, uh, we're going to take I look around the phone and I have to say this phone feels great in the hand um, it's a tall phone I mean but it feels so so good in the hand and it doesn't feel cheap even though it's made of all plastic it doesn't feel cheap it really feels awesome in the hand it feels really good in the hand now let's take a tour around the phone now this is your 6.53 inch uh, screen we're gonna start with the front since that's you know already seen it and I don't know how well you guys can see that but there is the front facing camera now let's go to the left side there is nothing here excepting for the sim ejection tool for the sim ejection tray right here on the top we have a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack and we have a mic on the right hand side we have your volume rocker and we also have a, a we also have here a power a pink accent power button and it also doubles as a notification LED so it does light up I don't know if you've seen that it's flashing here and there it does come on and when you're charging the phone it does come on I, but it, as you can see it's flashing right there because I have a notification on on the bottom we have we, we have a we have your speaker on the bottom and a micro, uh, not micro, a USB-C charging port right there. And let's take a look around the back. Now look, look at that back. On the back here we have the triple camera setup with the flash, fingerprint scanner, the T-Mobile logo, and your IMEI number right there to, to your phone. Now, I don't know, you can see it's not really, it's all plastic, so you're not gonna get that shimmer like the glass. I don't know how it's coming off in camera, but I'm not really seeing it. It's, the purple moves from one side to another. That's all I can see here. And this back, even though it's plastic, it's a fingerprint magnet. If <laughs> It's not as bad as glass, but it's fingerprint, especially if you, you know, have lotion on your hand or whatever. It comes up really, really bad. But yes. <clears throat> Okay, now let me go into the phone and let's talk about software. Now, this is Android 10, as I mentioned before, and this is stock Android 10. Besides the regular T-Mobile, the Metro by T-Mobile uh, um, bloatware, there's nothing much. Everything is stock. I, you know, I have my information in the phone, and I did install some some stuff in into to the phone. And everything, everything is just great. Everything is just great in this phone. I don't have any issues with it. I haven't actually noticed any kind of slowdowns in the day that I've, I've had with this phone. So, uh, so far, so good with the Snapdragon 765. It's, it's, it's been doing me really, very really well. I haven't noticed any difference. And I, uh, the games that I've been playing is not no heavy, heavy game, no heavy 3D games, so I would notice any kind of a slowdown or anything like that. But for the most part, it's stock Android. <clears throat> now, um, you know, beside, uh, I'll, we're going to take a look at the cameras right now. At the camera. So now, here we have, as you see, is a triple camera setup. Uh, HDR is off by default but yes so now let's take a look at the modes so first here this is standard and uh, then you have two times and you can do your zoom look a close that zoom in but you can see all the digital noise and here's your wide angle so it's even more wide 
turn that off. Yeah, so you have your wide angle. So now you have your modes, auto, you got video, you got your portrait, you have super night mode, you have your pro mode, but this is only pro mode for pictures. You don't get video in this pro mode. When you go over to more, you have slow-mo, you have stop motion, you have light trace, you have pano, which is the pan 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 they just call, call it panel in here. You have super macro and high pixel, which brings you to the, use the full uh, sen sensor. You get those 48 megapixel fo fo photos. Yeah. Uh, and then when it comes to like the video, it shoots up and up to 4K. So you have four, 4K in the video settings. And, and this phone, as you can see, is video stabilized ESI. So no optical image st stabilization, only electronic image st 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 stabilization. Um, now there's a mode that I've seen in here in the settings for under the pictures. And so you, you have AI scene detection and you have calorie detection. So this is the one that uh, I, I, I was looking at uh, when I saw it in the phone and I believe there it's there in I believe I, I've seen what it meant but it's not here but you can basically you could take a picture of food and it will tell you it will tell give 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 you or de try to determine the cal calorie information that's in the food I will test this out in the full review of this device coming soon yeah but i will do that so far with the ai detection i haven't taken any kind of pictures but i mean i deleted the ones i took around the house but yeah i didn't really see it saying you know what the scene is or anything like that so i don't know i haven't seen anything come up you know on the screen that tells you this is that this is what the only thing i, t I can see is like macro like like that because the only thing i've ever seen it says that that's a macro shot uh, let me take uh, like something like this from my Galaxy and see what it says. Yeah, it says it's a macro shot, so it automatically go. Let's take a look at that super macro. It's not a feature that I would actually use, but yeah, it gets really close. It's much clear, clear, clearer than the AI from what I see. But again, I will do full. Uh, I'll test out the camera more. I'll in the in the full review. I'll put some pictures up and let you guys determine. And I'll tell tell you what I think about it as well. Yeah, and you have super macro v v video as well, which crops in even more. So no, look at that. Okay. Now that's it for the cameras. Now by default you have the three buttons in the bottom: back, home, and recent apps. But I change it to the gesture. So. Yeah, I change it to the gesture and, and to do so, which is, uh, that's how I always do my menus. Uh, to change anything, I, I search for what I want. So I go to gestures. And it comes up, system gestures, gestures. And then you go to gesture navigation. You have your gesture navigation. That's the one I'm using. You have two button and you have your three button navigation. This is the one I like ever since the, I, I got you used to it on the po, po, Poco F2 Pro. Now, let's take a test out of the speakers and it doesn't mention this in any of the specifications, but this is something I found out for myself. Uh, let's go to YouTube and And today I have for you the Oats Angle 3. Portable this is dual speaker. Dual speaker. Dual speaker. A tiny speaker. So even if you... Even if I'm, I, I, you block the bottom, the, the air pieces doubles as a speaker. So it's dual speaker. Colors. This will be showing in the bottom of the screen right now. Yeah, so... So now when you have to muffle both of them to get the volume down lower. Why yeah, it's yeah, best. yeah, so yeah, that actually sounds really, really great. Uh, let's search for something. 
And it, it actually, that dual speaker sounds awesome when it comes to music. Okay, I got a little ad here. I don't have the YouTube, pre, uh, the, the, the premium YouTube. Okay, here we go. And it's all the way up to 100%. Sounds amazing. Sounds amazing. I mean, it's not the, the best uh, dual speaker, but at least it's there, especially on uh, uh, on the price of this, uh, $200. You know, uh, you can't you can go wrong having that dual speaker, but you know the camera is going to, the cameras are going to take a hit, especially in budget phones like this. The cameras are going to take a hit. You know, so, but those speakers is there, and the focus of this phone is the 5G connectivity. It was between this, and I believe it was the Galaxy A51 5G, which, um, when I looked it up, it says it right under Metro by T-Mobile and the Metro, and and the the and the T-Mobile website that says that the the Galaxy A. 51 5G, it's 5G, but it only runs on the 600 spectrum, so there's no millimeter wave, and this one has millimeter wave, even though I, so far, I haven't seen a different. Uh, I did one speed test that I got over 100 megabits a second, but uh, that was the most I've gotten so far, because it's, like I said, it, you have to be really outside in clear view and sometimes I'm around buildings but when I was in clear view I got that 100 uh, mega uh, 100 plus megabits a second uh, and I say 5, 5g you don't have to rush to get a 5g phone um, 5g is not to my opinion ready all the way yet this they still got to work on that kink um, you know buildings can black it from what I understand you have to be in an open, clear area, nothing in the way. So, yeah, I mean, so so the, I don't think still there's any, any rush to, to get to 5G, even, especially, in, you know, they're all, I know they're all re re ready, working on, on 6, 6G already, but, you know, I mean, I think, but even though the 5G, in my opinion, is not fully re re ready yet in most markets, but, I have to say the reception in this phone is awesome compared to my other two phones. I work, I don't really have to use the Wi-Fi as much, but I do I just keep the Wi-Fi I work on because it's much easier for me, especially when I'm walking from area to area. I don't have to, when I'm in a dead zone, I have to turn it on and then turn, I just keep it on and use the Wi-Fi call it option that's in this phone. Now this screen does get really, really bright. It gets really, really bright. Uh, the, right now it's on full brightness. Yeah, and I, I have my uh, one, one that one that one uh, installed, so I, I keep my information as private as this uh, as that allow me to, and I love it. I love one that, one that. Yeah, um, yeah. So, so far, great phone. Like I said, haven't seen any lag. Now let's take a test of the fingerprint scanner. I must say it's pretty fast, so let's 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 try this. Uh, let's give the screen a wipe down first. My fingerprints all over there. All right, let's go ahead and do that. I don't think I touched it. Here we go. It's kind of hard to feel. You have to feel for that groove. Okay, but it's pretty fast. There we go. Let's 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 take a look from the side. Okay, I, I turn it off first. Bang. See that? I didn't touch it right. I try to do a quick tap. Take a look at that. You see my finger here. Ah, touch. Don't worry, my my mu mu muscle me memory will get there. But it's not it's not the fastest, but it's pretty fast. I still think think my One Plus Five T is faster than all the phones that I have that has a fingerprint scanner. I think the only phone that came close was the 
Note the Xiaomi Mi Note 9S. I I think that that actually or the Redmi Note 9S, which is Xiaomi as well. Yeah, um, yeah, that actually that 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 actually was fast with the fight with the side mount. I, that that worked for me one hundred percent. This works one hundred percent as long as you get it right. But yeah, that that was the face unlock. Face unlock is pretty fast. It's not as, again, it's still not as fast as the OnePlus 5T or any of the OnePlus in my opinion, but it's fast. I'm going to look away, turn it on, nothing. My face, it comes on pretty, pretty fast. Now, I wish it did have double tap to wake, but it doesn't, uh, it doesn't have double tap to wake. I wish it would, it would actually have that, but I have to go to the power button every time. But this 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 just a little gripe. I just like the I just love the double tap that I have on all my other phones. It's not it's not in this phone. Yeah. So now I'm gonna talk about things that I don't like about this phone. I'm gonna get into things I like, things I don't like. And I'm gonna start off with number one thing I don't like is no IP rating. And it is not. It doesn't have any. And I know there's a lot of phones out there, budget phones that don't have any IP ratings, but they do have that gasket around the the SIM tray or whatever. So you know that there's some kind of waterproof, and they just didn't get the rating because that costs extra money, and they're trying to keep the cost low. But this doesn't have any whatsoever, from what, what I can tell. There's there's nothing there. So I don't think you can drop this in the toilet by accident, get it wet in the rain, or whatever the case may be. To the charger, I'm not really sure if it's quick charge or not, but I will do uh, I will do a charging test on the full review, so which is coming soon. I will do a, a full re uh, I will do a quick charge. Uh, I mean a charging test on it to see how long it takes to charge or like what percentage and whatever. Now, another thing I don't like it doesn't have always on display. I wish it had always on display. There's something I like. Like uh, um, I know the OnePlus 5T that doesn't have it, but by default it doesn't. But the OnePlus 5T does have the um, it does have the the Google Assistant ambient mode. So when when you plug your phone into the charger, the time is displayed all the time, and your uh, e your calendar events is coming up or whatever. It's on the screen, and so. It, Sometimes, you know, some, sometimes I wake up before the alarm, but if it's too early before the alarm, I don't actually get up. I just stay sleeping. So I just, I just turn over and go back to sleep. So with this phone, I have to keep touching the power button um, just to see the time. And that's, I hate doing that. Um, my po Poco F2 Pro has always on display. So I, and I, yeah, and I believe the 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 um yeah I I don't think my sham the the Note Nine S even had that either. It didn't have ambient mode or anything like that. So, I mean, but I wish this phone. I still wish this phone did for four hundred bucks. I mean, but I get it for two hundred. And like I said, the focus of this phone is not anything else. It's just the focus of the phone is the five G. You're getting five G. And from what I understand, this is the cheapest five G phone you could find right now. I haven't seen any five G phone that works here in the US that's a, that's at this price point. Right now I think the the one that everything that comes close is five hundred dollars. So I, I believe this is the most affordable five G phone that you can get right now. And the last thing I don't like about this phone is color options. I wish it had more color options, but it only has one color, which is the nebula black, or yeah, that's what the color is called, nebula black. I wish they had uh, more color options, but it is what it is. Uh, most people are gonna slap a case on their phone anyway. They're gonna slap a case on, and you're not gonna see because that's what I wanna do to protect it. I, th I basically have all my phones that I've ever had in the past. I mean, if I didn't give it away to my brother or my sister or whatever, but I you I have this phone. I have the Poco F two. I have my One Plus five T that I've had for how many years now? Still working. Still in good condition. I mean, it has a little bit of scratches on the screen, you know, here and there in the body. Then from 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 my kid throwing it around. Um, without that's when I take up the case. 
but for the most part, nothing is wrong with the screens that crack or anything. I usually keep my case in full in, in good condition. I, I don't even take out insurance on my phones. I keep them just the way they are because I don't break my phones. Uh, then uh, now I'm going to get into the things that I do like about this phone. That is the feel in the hand, man. And it doesn't, like I said, it has some weight to it. It doesn't feel cheap. And it feels good. And I mean, the back is beautiful. Even I mean, I'm a, I I I don't I wouldn't wear purple, but I love my devices in like orange and purple. Like that's why I wish it had more more colors. But yeah, this feels good in the hand. It doesn't feel too cheap. I mean, you still feel you feel like plastic. It doesn't feel like metal. You don't get that coldness of the steel, the metal when you hold it. But yeah, but it still feels great in the hand. It doesn't have no sharp edge, and it's thick. Thicker than all my other phones, but I like it. I don't. I, I rather bigger battery than being skinny all the time, and that takes me right into the battery life. So far, in the one day, I will talk more about this in the full review coming. The battery life is awesome so far. I went to work with this. Spent a whole day. Remind you, I didn't watch any Netflix at work. I I, I didn't uh, listen to music like that i didn't really do I, I did music on the way to work on the way home but i didn't really listen to music or watch a month's video it was a busy time of work i was a it was a busy week so i didn't get to do my full full um uh, 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 uh experience but i i did use the internet a lot and i did make phone calls a, a couple phone calls i did surf the web i was on amazon or whatever but i still left left work with 70 percent by the time I got home, I was down to 68% with just l l listening to, 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 to Spotify. Now, my own, um, and I love the dual speakers on this. Dual speakers, I love the dual speakers. Sounds great. They're not the best, I guess. Uh, like I said, uh, it, it could have been some more bass. But, I mean, well, I can't complain. It's, it, 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 you got to think about the price. And then the discount you're getting when you get this phone has been going on ever since it's released. It just came straight in with a discount um, on, for, for both M M Metro and T-Mobile. You can get this phone for around 200 bucks. So, uh, I think Metro, it went up to 210 now um, ever since the, the first. Cause the, the promotion starts over at the first of every month. So it's now up to 210 in stores. On the website, it still says 200, but in the stores, it's printed there at, at 210. So, yeah. Um, I like the fact that it has a headphone jack, as I still use, um, I still use, I use headphone jack. I love phones. I I use these Skull can, can, Candies right here, the Crushers. I still use, I, I, like, I like wired. For some reason, wired to me just sounds way better to me. I don't know about anybody else. I'm I'm not a music guy or anything. I'm not a, a song guy. Like I mean, I like I like some music, but I'm not a. I don't have the ears, perfect ears to pick up all instruments and all that stuff. Like, but, but I would say, music songs awesome, awesome. Uh, uh, with the headphone jack, to me, he headphone songs, wired headphone songs better than Bluetooth, in my opinion. And I know a lot of people might not care about this be on the fence, but NFC. I know a lot of phones come, but there are still phones coming out that don't have NFC, and I love NFC. I use this to pay to get in the bus, on the train. I just tap and go. I just tap and go. In the supermarket, tap. I just tap. Um, I, I just tap and enter my pin instead of putting the card in, wait for it to, to, to connect, and then I to enter my pin, and then they have to press... I have to enter my pin, and then I have to wait for the the, uh, uh, the cashier to hit uh, um, to hit hit a button or whatever. Now I don't. Now I just go. I tap my phone. It comes up instantly into my pin, and boom, approved. Super fast. Then go then going in the wallet and whatever. Pretty much easy. And then I have it on my smartwatch as well. I I I, I have a a, a a NFC payment uh, on uh, on my watch. So NFC so is big to me. I mean, I would put that it doesn't have wireless charging. It's something I don't, I don't like it to have. But I don't use wireless charging. I have phones. My girl have phone. I had phones in the past that has wireless charging, and I've never used it. To be honest with you, I am. 
I don't, I don't care much about wireless charging. I, for those of you who don't, who don't, who don't, who use that, this phone don't have it. There's something I should have mentioned before. It doesn't have it. So that, that could be a, a, a con or something that you don't like. But for me, it doesn't matter. I don't use it. I think wired is faster. So I just use the wired. I use, and all my phones charge up pretty, pretty quick. Um, this one so far, I charge it. It did charge up a little bit quick, but I haven't, it hasn't been, the, the battery hasn't been that much depleted for me to actually go ahead and have it charge for a long, long time. I will do that. Like I said, I will talk about that in the, I will do a charging test in the full review to see how it goes from zero, how long it takes to go from zero to 100. But yes, NFC, something I love. Now, yeah, but that's it so for much for this video. Um, I will have some links in the description down below and I will be honest with you guys, those are affiliate links and it's but products that I've reviewed in this channel before. Um, so it's Amazon affiliate. Uh, you know, I, I, I don't like asking for money for the donations or anything like that. So that's the next best thing is having affiliate links so I can uh, buy these prop these things to review. And so far, I haven't made anything off of affiliate links. I think the last time I checked was a dollar change. So I don't really go in and check. Everything I buy is with my money. I'm not sponsored or anything like that. My channel is barely, is, is not up there as yet, but it's growing. And that's all I, I wish for is for this channel to grow and to continue growing. And thank you all of you guys out there who, who have subscribed. And even if you haven't subscribed, just watching the videos, you know, it, it, that, that's supporting the, this channel right here and helping it grow. And I will go into what I always say. Please like, share, subscribe, hit that bell notification icon and leave your comments down below. Let me know what you think. This is Stuttering Tech. I'm the one and only Stuttering Drew. See you guys in the next video, which will be on this phone, the full review. And peace out.